In an earlier tutorial, I showed you how I gathered up all of these files and got to the directory. I'm in that directory now, see test questions, and I've got all of these files here that are in text. So what I want to do uh, is, let's minimize this, maybe that'll make it easier for you to see a little bit, let's close that, minimize, can get rid of that. Okay, so <clears throat> right here, uh, you can see I've got all my text files right there. And I want to show how I'm going to get all these files squished into one. It's fairly straightforward. I type CAT for catenate. And I use the wildcard key star period dot txt. And then I'm going to use the greater than symbol. And I'm going to write all these questions to a new file called testcomp.txt. And I'm using SIGWIN. When I do this, all these files will be write, writ, uh, open, read, and then written off into one file called testcomp.txt. Takes about a millisecond. So let's cat that file, catenate, meaning view, test, comp. Txt. I just tabbed to complete that file name. Hit the enter key, and they go whizzing by. Let's open it up in vim uh, comp. Txt. Vim. Um, don't remember what it stands for. Oh, vi improved. Hit the enter key, and there are all of my files. I'm going to use the J key to go down, and I hold it down, and you can see. I have lots and lots and lots of files here. So I have just, uh, in the flash of an eye, created uh, one large file for me to begin manipulating. So that is a quick and easy way for uh, you to uh, put all of your text files into one great big heap. Uh, next, we will take a look at uh, how we can use this to create uh, or to do spell checks. Uh, in fact, we can go ahead and try that now. Uh, to escape, uh, you hit the escape key, colon, quit, exclamation mark, colon, Q, exclamation mark. No, will quit my uh, file. It takes me back to the terminal. And now let's try a spell. It's installed. And I type test comp. Txt and let's see what happens. Unknown action test comp. Right, let's try spell test comp. Txt spell command is not found, so I'll have to dig around. Um, in a full Linux installation, this is only Sigwin. In a full Linux installation, I should get all the a list of all the spelling errors in this file. But uh, again, the the Concatenating all those files is as simple as cat star dot txt greater than test and then the file name itself. Uh, happy Linux users, go out and have some fun with SigWin. Till then, uh, go out and make your own screencast.